Hey YouTube, it's Jess. I know it has been quite some time since I had a video up for you, but uh, unfortunately I have been dealing with some personal health issues and I am all better now, so we can be excited for that. And we can also be excited for a fall makeup, oh, <laughs> fall makeup wantable box. I keep, okay, you'll have to excuse these. I keep looking over here thinking that my camera's on this side of my phone and it's not, it's over here, so I'm just going to try to tell myself to focus. Um, but yes, I am going to be opening the fall Wantable box for you. Jacqueline and her team at Wantable are fantastic and they sent me this box completely for free. They wanted my honest opinion and they wanted me to share it with you. So uh, here we go. I am far too excited to do the whole like, I'm going to unbox it on the video type thing. Um, I, I totally opened it. Um, and I have tried to film this video twice um, since I'm at part of the box. Something was floating on the <laughs> side of the frame there. Um, I've tried to film this video twice. I got interrupted by a dog fight, um, people weed eating, and cats that were literally right here in my space. So um, I apologize. I'm going to try to spit this out as quick as I can before we lose um, all this daylight. And sorry for this big thing here. And uh, we're just going to get all the apologies out of the way right now. I flat ironed my hair today and I feel like it looks really flat so if I keep touching it that's why um, but anyway the box comes like this it's a beautiful white box with uh, a beautiful new thing on the side and then the wantable logo on the top and you do get what I showed you earlier a thank you card it lists all the products on the back and um, it does say if you can see it on the top hello gorgeous which I think is cute and um, yeah, so we'll get right in. The first thing I noticed when I opened it the first time was the um, Whip Hand. It's their Cheek Flash, and it is in the color Wanting. Wanting, there you go. Which is, um, this says on the card that it was designed exclusively for Wantable, which I think is very cute. And um, obviously fitting with the name Wanting. So um, there's some leftover product here in the top, and I just kind of swatched it. I don't know if you can see it. You can kind of see it. There my finger. It's like a peachy kind of terracotta color. Um, it does have um, kind of a golden sheen to it. You can see uh, the sheen a lot more in the top of the lid here, but when it's swatched out, you can't really see it. Um, it's just kind of a nice sheer uh, wash of color. My pale skin, mm, all my freckles, um, and my bad nails. Don't don't look at them. Bad. <laughs> um, but it is just like I said, kind of a warm peachy color. Um, comes across more orange on the camera than it is in person but um, the next thing that I saw when I opened the box was this from Laka & Co. Uh, it is a nail polish in the color Fancy Pants which I think is adorable and it is this color here. I did swatch it. Um, it comes across more green on camera than it actually is in person. It is, I'll open it up for you and show you the actual bottle. Um, it, this is what the bottle looks like and um, it is uh, kind of a neutral, like, brown, taupey color, but you can still tell in the bottle that there's some green undertones in that, too, so um, that could be why it shows up more here on the camera, green, like, actually on my nail, but um, in person it definitely looks more of, like, a true taupey color with just a hint of a green undertone. Um, so that is that. The next thing we got is from Lee Swatier. It is a uh, sample of their Ombre Souffle Supreme. Um, and you get the whole line, I guess there are six colors, you can see them here, and then you get to sample two of them. So the ones I got, um, and I'm not going to swatch these just because I don't plan on using them right now, um, but the Sunrise Peach is this color here, and it is kind of goes well with this blush. It's kind of a peachy, corally color. Um, this actually looks like it might have kind of a silver sheen to it but and then this one here is Vert Enchante and it is obviously Vert Green um, it's kind of a um, golden kind of muted green which is really pretty um, it looks like they have um, four other colors Zia um, de Nut maybe totally trying to be fancy when I say that I'm not even probably saying it right um, and then this color here is Taupe Fantasia, um, Magi Blanche is the white, and Magi Noir. Probably totally murdering those words, but 
Sorry. I, I don't, I don't know. Um, the next item that we got is from, um, Face Stockholm. And it is a, I do believe this is a lip, lip gloss? Yes. It is a lip gloss in number 22. Um, I guess there's no, um, I guess there's no, like, n you know, actual name for it. But the brush itself, okay. This is, um, I'm, I'm going to complain about this for a second. In Wantable, I, I don't complain about much. But can anyone see this brush? You see all the hairs that are, like, all over the place? I'm just going to put this. You're going to, like, be getting gloss on your chin. I'm trying to put it on. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you can definitely work around that, but it is a really pretty berry color. I will put it beside... Oh, very pigmented. Really, really pretty. Definitely something that will be beautiful for fall. Um, it comes in this nice package, silver top, face by Stockholm. Our face Stockholm is on the bottom. 22 is there on the bottom. And Oh, great. Got it on my sweatshirt. That's okay. Um, this is the color... So go ahead and swatch that out. Um, it's a nice, pretty berry color. Um, I will definitely be sporting that in the fall. It's very pretty, and the um, consistency, the texture is great. It doesn't feel too sticky. It feels, um, feels nice. It feels like it'll be moisturizing a little bit, actually, which is great. And um, it's not super tacky, so that is nice. And another thing we got is from Michael Marcus. It is an eyeliner that way. There you go. It's from Michael Marcus. It's an eyeliner in Galaxy. And, um, it is, let's see if I can get it out of here. It is kind of like a pewter color, which is nice. If you can see it here, it is sparkly. I'm hoping that the sun's catching that a little bit. Um, it is sparkly. I will put it in between the two of these. Um, sadly, and I don't know if maybe we, I just need to, um, to wear this down a little bit, but um, sadly it's pretty dry feeling, and I'm hoping I'm hoping I just need to to use it a little bit. But it's there in the center. Um, it's a nice, really you know, pretty deep deep pewter color. You can still see the shimmer. It's not as uh, noticeable on your hand as it is you know in the actual product itself. Um, but there is kind of a drag when I put it on my hand. It does feel quite dry. Um, oh, and the tip just broke off. Okay. See it? Okay, we're just going to get rid of that. Um, nothing a sharpener can't fix, but yeah, it does, f it does feel pretty stinking dry. Um, I'm hoping that, um, when I try it actually on my eye, um, I'll have a better, you know, better sense of the product itself, but I like the color. It's really pretty. Um, I think that it would look really nice with a smoky eye. And, um... Yeah, I'm excited to try it. I've never uh, tried anything by Michael Marcus, so uh, I'll be interested to see what that is. Last but not least, I was super excited about this. I uh, will be very honest with you in saying that I do not have any um, anything by this company, and the company is Japanesque, and we actually received a, um, a professional quality smudger brush. And... Um, I've actually been looking at a couple smudge brushes and um, just haven't pulled the trigger, but I am so excited about this little guy. Um, the brush is dense, but it's very soft, and um, it's a nice size, like travel size. You throw it in your bag, it's great. Um, I mean, I think it would be great for packing color in here, obviously in here, um, into the crease. I think that would be really nice. Um, I think you can definitely do a lot with this, and I'm excited to try it out. Um, I've heard nothing but great things about Japanesque, so um, I've always been a, if I can get it back in here, I've always been a tried and true kind of MAC brush girl. Um, I'm trying to branch out by way of Sigma and um, trying Sedona Lace also, so I'll have to let you know about those, but I'm really excited about this guy. Um, just to go over really quick, the um, cheek color was retails for $18.00. The uh, Michael Marcus eyeliner retails for $20. The Japanese brush retails for $14.50. The um, Face by Stockholm gloss full size represents. Represents. What am I coming up with? Represents. Retails for uh, 19 
and the uh, Laka, Nail, Laka and Company nail polish um, retails for twelve fifty, and then I think they're just kind of counting these as a as a little bonus. So um, I can't be mad about that. Uh, obviously, for me, especially the box was free, so I really can't be mad about that. Um, but you know, a box subscription to Wantables Makeup Box is thirty six bucks a month, and you're getting full size product. So um, obviously, with these prices it definitely pays for itself, um, you know, time and time again. So I hope that you will check it out and, um, you know, give Jacqueline and her company some love. They are doing great, great things for the makeup world. And, um, yeah, I just, I can't get enough of their company and their great customer service. Uh, so check them out on Facebook, check them out. I will leave their, uh, I'll leave all their links below so you can find them super easy. But, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I know it's been a while. I hope you guys are still sticking around and, um, yeah, I will bring you more videos soon and hope you have a great day. Be blessed, be pretty, and be awesome. Bye, guys.